what I can say is that if we could be united and stick together and just yeah and just be good people you know and just including Christ yeah you have to follow God and everything be united because if we're not united then this is what happens this is what happens at the end of the day you see so I'm really really yeah pleased and happy thank you so much because without you we're gonna be dead back there in South Africa yeah <laughs> I can say that no I I don't wish going back there because if I wish going back there, that means I'm wishing for my death. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> can say that. Thanks a lot. Welcome on board APC Line. We are happy to have you here with us. Um, we thank God for saving your life from this xenophobic attack in South Africa. So please, can you tell us your name? My name is Ichoma Matuagum. Um, I'm from South Africa, but then I'm Nigerian. I'm 17 years old. Um, I'm still schooling. And I want to say uh, that um, xenophobia, it's, it's actually it's actually bringing heartbreak to us foreigners because um, we're not able to do our businesses, hustle, or yeah, just to bring to bring food on our table. So this is so not good. And besides that, um, as well, I'm I'm schooling, and girls, women are being raped, killed, children are being kidnapped in South Africa, and it's not it's not good. Foreigners are being killed as well, and. People, people are dying every day. Shops are being burned, and this is this is a disappointment. Not only in Africa, but all over the world. Because um, other countries all over the world, they'll end up saying that South Africans are not allowed to travel all over the world. So um, xenophobia, it's um, it's a really bad, bad, bad action against foreigners and yeah, people around the world. I can see this children with you yeah. who are they to you oh these are my siblings yeah this is uh, Uzoka my name is I'm fine what's your name Uzoka okay. how are you what's your name Ngozi Ngozi okay um, these are my siblings um, I decided to to pack our things and just go to Nigeria because we okay, well, where's your parents? Oh, my parents are still in South Africa, but they'll come with the following flights tomorrow. Yeah. So, what's the reason um, for your parents allowing you to go ahead with these children? Oh, because um, they don't feel safe. They don't feel safe with with them while it's still at South Africa. So they like, no, let me just send you guys to Nigeria to your family in Nigeria. And then, yeah, we'll see what will happen because they still have to sell the properties and everything before they come to Nigeria. Who do you have in Nigeria okay. to take care of you? I have my aunties, my cousins, yeah, my uncles, yeah, to take care of me. And I'm going to Nigeria to carry on with my studies because I cannot leave my studies like that. Okay. Are they meeting you up at the airport? Or yes. Yes, they are. Immediately we land, then they will be there. Okay, what's your plan when you get to Nigeria? Okay, my plan is just to go back to school, carry on with my studies. Yeah, just live my life. Yeah, just as long as I'm safe. Because being in South Africa, even just to go to the shop, it's not safe for us. Yeah, even in, in my community, it's not so safe. Yeah. Can you share with us your parent activity in South Africa, their business, and what they do for a living? Okay, my, my mom, she has a saloon, and my dad is a pastor. So the little that we have, it's the little they use just for our living. Yeah. Okay, what is the relationship like between the South Africans and the other nationals within the church? 
since your dad is a pastor, how is that relationship? Okay, the relationship, it's, it's difficult and it's really hard for my dad to carry on with this business because they're also foreigners. Like, foreigners, they also come to church. Yeah, so it's, it's difficult for them to walk on the street to go to church because because of the attacks. Yeah, the attacks are too too much. Like every day, every day it becomes worse. Yeah. Did you find yourself um, in the middle of this any of this attack? Probably um, you experienced them physically, not seeing them on social media or on TV. Yes, I have seen it uh, physically because um, they were also looting. There was looting in South Africa. The, even till now, looting is still happening. Like when they take things from the shop, just like that. Yeah, like I have seen that life, and it's 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 so so disappointing. Yeah, especially for foreign shops. Yeah, it's so disappointing. Yeah. Okay. What other message you want to pass across to Nigerians? Okay, I want to say, oh, thanks to uh, Mr. <laughs> oh. Uh, Alea, Alen Oyeba, uh, for bringing the flight because without that, um, we we Nigerians we're not gonna have a plan, yeah, um, how to go home, how to be safe, yeah, because if we're gonna stay there, we're gonna all lose our lives. So thanks a lot, sir. Thank thank you a lot. Yeah, this is our first time going to Nigeria, and I'm happy. Yeah. Because it's my home. I'm happy. <laughs> They're in school. Yeah. Um, this xenophobic attack. Yes. Right there in the school. How do you manage that? And what like, was the um, what the school authority doing about that? Okay. Obviously, um, the principal in the school will always talk, but then the attack is like happening physically and. The foreign children, children in my school in South Africa, they're not able to go to school. There's no way they can go to school because these attacks are actually going on. Yeah, and it's serious, like serious. Yeah. I can't imagine what you've gone through. Yeah. It's nice having you back home. Okay? Thanks. Take care, right? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. How are you? Give me a high five. And you too.